Huawei, the Chinese tech giant, has long been in the crosshairs of the United States. The U.S. government has accused Huawei of posing a national security risk, alleging ties to the Chinese government. These accusations led to sanctions, barring American companies from doing business with Huawei. This impacted Huawei's access to crucial components, especially semiconductors. It signaled a new era of tech rivalry, often dubbed the tech cold war between the U.S. and China. Control over technologies like 5G and AI is crucial for economic and geopolitical dominance. The U.S. leveraged Huawei's dependence on Western technology, imposing sanctions that cut off access to essential components. At the heart of modern chipmaking lies a critical piece of equipment, the Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography EUV machine. This sophisticated technology is essential for producing the most advanced semiconductors, the brains behind our smartphones, computers, and countless other devices. ASML Holding, a Dutch company, holds a virtual monopoly on the production of these EUV machines. EUV lithography enables the creation of chips with transistors so small that billions can fit onto a single chip. This miniaturization is key to Moore's law, the observation that the number of transistors on a chip doubles approximately every two years, leading to exponential increases in processing power and decreases in cost. Chips manufactured using EUV lithography power the latest generation of electronics, offering significant performance and efficiency improvements. However, ASML's EUV machines are incredibly complex and expensive, costing hundreds of millions of dollars each. Only a handful of companies worldwide can afford and operate them, giving these companies a significant advantage in the semiconductor industry. The limited availability of EUV machines has become a bottleneck in the production of cutting-edge chips, further intensifying the global chip shortage. The U.S. government's restrictions on ASML preventing it from selling its most advanced EUV machines to China have further exacerbated the situation for Huawei. This has left the Chinese tech giant scrambling for alternative solutions to secure its supply of high-end chips. Faced with mounting pressure from U.S. sanctions, Huawei has embarked on an ambitious endeavor, developing its own lithography technology. This move, if successful, could have far-reaching implications for the global chip-making industry and challenge ASML's dominance. Huawei's solution is rumored to be an innovative approach known as Laser Direct Patterning (LDP). LDP is a different approach to lithography that bypasses the need for some of the expensive and complex components required in EUV lithography. While details about Huawei's LDP system remain closely guarded, industry insiders speculate that it could offer a more cost-effective and accessible alternative to EUV. If Huawei can perfect its LDP technology, it could potentially manufacture its own advanced chips without relying on ASML or other foreign suppliers. This breakthrough could have significant ramifications, not just for Huawei but for the entire semiconductor landscape. A successful LDP system could disrupt the existing power dynamics in chip making, potentially shifting influence away from the West and towards China. Moreover, it could open up new possibilities for chip design and manufacturing, fostering innovation and competition in the industry. However, developing a viable LDP system is a formidable challenge. It requires overcoming significant technical hurdles and necessitates substantial investments in research and development. Only time will tell whether Huawei can succeed in this ambitious endeavor and reshape the future of chip making. Fighting back R&D and the Harmony ecosystem. Undeterred by the challenges, Huawei has responded to the US sanctions with a multi-pronged strategy. A cornerstone of this strategy is a relentless focus on research and development. Huawei has consistently ranked among the top companies globally in R&D spending. This investment has allowed Huawei to make significant strides in areas like 5G, AI, and cloud computing. Beyond R&D, Huawei has been actively building its own ecosystem of products and services. A prime example is Harmony OS, Huawei's proprietary operating system. Harmony OS powers a growing range of Huawei devices. By creating its own ecosystem, Huawei aims to reduce its reliance on American software and services. This ecosystem play is crucial for Huawei's long-term survival and growth. Can Huawei keep up? Huawei faces an uphill battle in semiconductor manufacturing. HiSilicon designs high-performance chips, rivaling Qualcomm. Sanctions have hampered HiSilicon's manufacturing capabilities. The cutting edge is at the 5-nanometer node led by TSMC and Samsung. Smaller nodes mean more powerful and efficient chips. Without ASML's EUV machines, Huawei is stuck at 7 nanometers. 
7 nanometer chips are capable but a generation behind. This gap puts Huawei at a disadvantage in flagship smartphones. The inability to manufacture at the cutting edge is a significant challenge. A new world order? The geopolitics of chip making. The saga of Huawei's struggle for technological independence underscores a broader geopolitical trend, the increasing strategic importance of semiconductors. Chips are no longer just components of electronic devices, they are the lifeblood of the modern economy, powering everything from smartphones and computers to cars, airplanes and critical infrastructure. The US government's actions against Huawei have exposed the vulnerability of global supply chains and highlighted the risks of relying on a handful of countries for essential technologies. This realization has sparked a global race for semiconductor self-sufficiency, with nations around the world pouring billions of dollars into bolstering their domestic chip-making capabilities. China, in particular, has made semiconductor independence a national priority. The country is investing heavily in building its domestic chip-making industry, aiming to reduce its reliance on foreign companies like TSMC and ASML. Huawei's potential breakthrough with LDP could be a game-changer in this context, potentially propelling China to the forefront of semiconductor technology. The implications of such a shift in technological power are far-reaching. It could reshape global trade dynamics, alter the balance of power in the tech industry, and even have implications for national security. The world is watching closely as the battle for chip supremacy unfolds, with the stakes higher than ever before. The stakes are high innovation versus control. The story of Huawei and its quest for chip-making independence is a microcosm of the larger tensions playing out in the global tech landscape. On one hand, it highlights the power of innovation and the relentless pursuit of technological advancement. Huawei's determination to overcome the challenges it faces, investing heavily in R&D and exploring alternative solutions, is a testament to human ingenuity. On the other hand, the situation exposes the geopolitical realities of the 21st century, where technology has become a battleground for economic and strategic dominance. The US government's actions against Huawei, while rooted in national security concerns, raise questions about fair competition, the free flow of technology, and the potential for fragmentation in the global tech ecosystem. The outcome of this technological tug-of-war remains uncertain. Will Huawei succeed in its ambitious endeavors and reshape the chip-making landscape? Will the US maintain its technological edge? Or will we see a more multipolar world with several centers of technological power? One thing is clear, the stakes are high, and the decisions made today will have lasting consequences for the future of technology, innovation, and global power dynamics.